this case considered the issue of damages and the finality of litigation, and whether or not an injured man was entitled to further damages for the worsening of his injuries in a later action after he had already been successful in an initial action for his injuries. In this case, a man was successful in an action for trespass and battery after his skull was injured by another man. Sometime later, a part of his skull became detached from his head and he brought a further action against the man who had injured him. The defendant objected to this and argued that the action had already been pursued in the court on the same issues. The injured man, however, argued that the action differed because it related to a part of his skull only. The central issue for the court, therefore, was whether or not damages could be assessed on this second action. The court ultimately held that the plaintiff 